Yes, seeing the skyline. After going blind nearly 21 years ago, this is the moment Brent Chapman discovered he could see again through his tooth. Looks really healthy. Looks great. Chapman is one of three people who underwent tooth and eye surgery, performed by Dr. Greg Maloney and his team in Vancouver for the first time in Canada. I feel fantastic. Vision comes back. There's a, it's a whole new world. All three patients can now see to different degrees. To watch them come back into, into the world is, is um, it's an incredibly rewarding uh, a feeling. The two-part surgery developed in the 1960s is a last resort for people with severe corneal blindness. It involves removing a patient's tooth, inserting a plastic lens into it, and then stitching the whole thing into the patient's eye socket. Why a tooth? Because they consist of the hardest substances humans produce, making them the ideal casing to bridge the lens. And using part of a patient's own body ensures it won't be rejected. Chapman went blind when he was 13. He's had about 50 procedures done to try and get his vision back. And we always said to Brent that we would go anywhere, do anything to uh, keep his vision. And here we are. <laughs> Chapman says he's now appreciating the little things. When Dr. Maloney and I made eye contact, we both just burst into tears. And yeah, I hadn't really made eye contact in 20 years. He's looking forward to spending time with family, traveling and working, not taking anything for granted. Yasmin Ghaneya, CBC News, Vancouver.